Hi, I'm Charlotte and I am in my final year of studying Oceanography as an Integrated Masters at the University of Southampton. So I'm originally from Plymouth, which is about a three and a half hour drive slash train journey away from Southampton. So I did move away to come to university. And I, in my first year, I stayed in student halls. So I stayed at Mayflower Halls in the city centre as it was closer to the campus I study at, at Southampton. And now I live in a shared house with some friends who I met who lived in my halls of accommodation. So just quickly going over what my degree actually is, because most people don't know when I say oceanography, they think, oh, you just study the oceans, like what is there to learn? So here are some of the things, the questions, the typical things that I would be asked. And this shows how oceanography is into loads of different sections and loads of different fields of research to go into. Hobbies wise, I'm on the University Ladies Hockey Club, so we have five teams. So there's a going from people who play in the Premier Leagues to people who play as, who are just beginners, just playing locally. So you get to really experience the sport at loads of different levels. I also did a study abroad semester in Norway, so I studied at the University of Bergen a year ago in my third year. And I've also done some volunteering with Sea Turtle Conservation in Greece with a company known as Wildlife Sense. Um, when it comes to university and comparing it to in school, I would say it's similar in the f fact that like the academic level increases as you continue through. Um, but also the, the ways that you learn is so different. So in school, you've got your teachers telling you what to do and how to when things need to be done by. And it will help you set like yourself deadlines. But at university, it's much more independent and you're kind of in charge of it all yourself. So, yeah.